My name is Kim Tobias Cohen and today we're here for the Royal Oak Society's Cool Aeronautics event where we have got 100 school kids around from the Bristol area and surrounding to come into the aerospace activities with us. It's a huge variety of, of things an aerospace engineer does and by the end of the day we'd like you to know what that job is. What we're trying to do today with these young people is give them a sense of understanding about what happens in aerospace and working for Rolls-Royce, I've come here to explain how a jet engine works. So we'll start with a suck, a squeeze, a bang, and a whoosh. We had Chris Jones in, who is a Rolls-Royce engineer, and he got across to the kids how a jet engine works. So all the kids walked out of that day knowing precisely how a jet engine works in a very active sort of manner and style. He also talked about what it takes to be an engineer for Rolls-Royce and engineering in the real world. Come on, Mr. Bang, spin around! The kids got away and made their own gliders as well in the workshop today, uh, supervised by four of our student ambassadors. So they built their own aircraft, which they now took home, or are going to be taking home. Um, in this workshop, we focused on a key area of actually being passionate and waiting as well, so they would need to wait for some glue to dry and be very, very precise on manners and skills and specific procedures which it takes to be an engineer as well. The next workshop we're offering today is building your own tower. And with this workshop, we're specifically focusing on that an engineer doesn't have all the materials, all the money and all the resources he's got to do a job. So they're giving a specific, specific amount of, of work materials and we told them to get away and do the most out of that given material they possibly could. Also today we're going to have four different stall activities there for the kids. That in includes our UWE UAV Society which means they're building unmanned aerial vehicles, so RC planes and drones which fulfill specific missions. Very very up lifting thing at the minute in the media and in engineering in general. We've got our space society who build rockets so the kids will learn about rocket engines and how rockets work and talk to real engineers. We also got Bristol Robotics Lab over who are showing off robots and basic robotic work so the kids get to understand how basic robot activities are, are carried out and they can talk to real engineers as well in that sense. And the last thing is just behind me UWE's electric aircraft project. So we had one MSC student in who talked the kids through what what work was done is going to be done to convert a plane from a normal plane into an electric plane and that will tie in with one of our key speeches about green aviation and future aviation. <laughs> 